Hello everyone, this is Miguel Greenberg. Welcome to part five of my quick React tutorial. Uh, in this part, we are going to talk about refs. Um, this is a feature that I, I wouldn't say that it is uh, widely used in React, uh, but it, it is sometimes uh, helpful when you need your, uh, your React application to somehow interact with a component that uh, that it's not built with React. So th this could be some JavaScript library that provides a, a little widget or, or, or anything that, uh, that for some reason doesn't have a React integration. So, so you will need to use plain JavaScript to, to manage that component. Uh, so, so refs are useful for that because they allow you to uh, to, to make a reference direct directly into a DOM element, something that uh, that, that you, you cannot do when you work with React because all, all these things that you create here, they're not really uh, elements in the DOM. These are part of a, a virtual DOM that then React copies into the real DOM. So uh, I was thinking what would be a, a good example uh, that is also not 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 very complex and uh, what I decided to do to show you how to work with refs is to um, to add an input element um, and even though there, there are ways to work with input elements directly uh, within react I'm going to show you a couple of things that you can do uh, to, to manage this input box using plain JavaScript uh, and the first thing to do to accomplish that will be to uh, to associate the element with a ref. So let's create a ref. Um, I'm going to call it text. React use ref. And then to uh, to associate the ref with the element, you add a ref attribute uh, to the element so now uh, so now th this text ref is linked to the input element so what I can do now is I can create an effect function which as we've seen before will run after the component is rendered meaning that uh, the, the, this input element will be on the DOM and then at that point this uh, this ref uh, will have a dot current attribute. So text dot current will be the actual element that is in the page. So um, let's create an effect function. So there's going to be a function. Uh, we're going to put no dependencies here. So an empty list, and uh, within the function, uh, let's start by logging text dot current and see what we get. Uh, so there we go. So, so we, we have the, uh, the element. So uh, something very simple that I can do here uh, is uh, I can set focus to that element if I wanted to. So, so the next time the element renders, the effect function focuses that, uh, that box. Uh, I can change the style let's say uh, the background um, I don't know some bluish color there you go uh, uh, but but th these things are not very interesting so what I'm going to do uh, now instead uh, to, to show you a, a, a more realistic example of the thing the things that you can do uh, is to set up a couple of event handlers uh, and I'm going to set them up uh, using JavaScript instead of going through the React system so that you see that, um, you know, so that you see how this is done. So, so the, the way I will do this is text current dot add event listener. Uh, and I, I'm going, I'm going to set focus and blur, which are the two events that, uh, that are involved when the component gets focus and then when it loses focus. So, uh, this is going to be on focus, and then uh, we can do another one for the blur. And this is going to be on blur. So now 
uh, I can create uh, these two functions on focus and here we, we can say that when when the element gets focused we can uh, we can change the background let's let's do that uh, so text current uh, style background like that and then when I want the component loses focus we can do we can restore it to back to uh, to white okay so now when I get here as I enter and leave uh, this uh, this code uh, it's running so note that the uh, the uh, um, the render function the effect function uh, only run once and it set up the handlers so now this is happening uh, without requiring any renders or uh, any uh, uh, there's, there's absolutely no react activity uh, when I do this so so this is how you would manage your uh, your non react component uh, one last thing that's very important uh, so here I set up two event listeners and it, it's always a good practice to remove the listeners when you don't use them anymore um, so uh, for this I need to show you a feature of the uh, of the effect hook that I uh, I did not think was uh, was going to uh, to be clear if I mentioned it when, when I spoke about the, the effect hook uh, but now I can show you that uh, there's a way uh, in the in the way uh, in the same way we have an effect function that runs after the initial render which we achieve by creating an effect function that has no dependencies uh, there's also a way to run a function when the component is removed when the component is unmounted and uh, that's the opportunity where, where you can do cleanup. So the uh, the code that you want to run to clean up the component when uh, it's being removed is uh, it needs to be given as a return value on your effect function. So here we can return a function uh, that that takes no arguments and uh, and then does uh, any any cleanup actions that we want. Uh, and we, we do them here so what we uh, we want to do here and this is actually incorrect I believe I may get a, uh, a warning here but uh, the gist of what we want to do is this now the uh, I, I did not get a warning interestingly uh, the problem is that at the time this uh, this cleanup function runs the reference is already uh, removed it doesn't exist anymore so so this is not going to uh, to work so the trick is to um, uh, let's say I call it my text and I save it in in a variable and then uh, I can I can always use my text here my text and then this one as well so it will be my text and my text and there we go so now we have a proper component that uh, that when it is unmounted it will properly remove uh, the event handlers uh, which n not also is a good practice but it it, it will also help uh, remove all these event handlers that that you don't need anymore and th th they may fire even though the component is hidden or in a, in a state where it's not visible uh, visible on the page uh, so anyway uh, this is uh, refs and uh, I will see you on the next video uh, and uh, we're going to talk about another core uh, react feature bye bye